Okay, today I'm gonna to talk to you about power in circuits. So to help illustrate um, what I'm talking about today, I'm just gonna have a real, real simple, simple circuit here. All it has is a cell and a filament lamp. So let's say this filament lamp has a power of 80 watts. Now, what power actually means is the energy transferred, the energy transferred per second. So it means every single second, how much energy is being transferred, for example, by this component. So for this component here, this filament lamp, every single second, it's transferring 80 joules of energy. So that means if we just have a quick think, after one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, and five seconds, every single second, 80 joules of energy is being transferred here, being released as light and as to the thermal store. So after one second, it releases 80 joules. After the second second, it would have released 160 joules, then 240 joules, after four seconds, 320, and after five seconds, 400 joules. Because every single second, that's how much energy it's transferring, 80 joules every single second. Now, the equation triangle that we need to know for this one uh, for power is this right here. There's actually a, a few different equations, but we'll look at this one first. So E is energy transferred, which is in joules. P is power, which is measured in watts. And finally, T is time, and that's measured in seconds. So, what we can see is we can actually double check this kind of common sense idea here using our equation triangle. So I've said if every second we, um, it's, it's transferring 80 joules of energy, then let's use this right here. Energy is power times time. So after one second, our power of this is 80 times one, we'd have transferred 80 joules. In two seconds, power times time, we would have done 80 times 2, which is 160, and so on. So to find out the amount of energy produced or energy transferred by a component, we just need to do the power multiplied by the time. So um, an interesting point to know as well is the unit watts is exactly the same as joules per second. That's all that watts means. How many joules are we transferring per second? Now, the other equation triangle we need to know for this one is P over I times V. Now, what that is showing is our power equals our current times our voltage. Now, let's have a uh, think what that means. Let's just quickly have a think about this circuit here. Let's imagine if I've got an ammeter right here and I've got a voltmeter here to measure the potential difference. So, um, our power... Um, so P equals power, which is measured in watts. Our power, remember, that's how much energy is transferred every second. Now, my, my potential difference, my potential difference is how much energy is being transferred between two different points. It's the difference in energy between two different points. So if I've got more energy being transferred across a component, I'm going to have more energy transferred per second. Also, what my uh, ammeter measures is the flow of charge around the circuit. So if I have more charge flowing around, or charge flowing around at a faster rate, I'm also going to have a higher power. So let's have a quick think about that. So let's imagine to begin with, let's imagine to begin with I had 10 amps and 8 volts. So I can see at the moment, to find my power, I do current times voltage. So my power would be 10 times eight. So my power would be 80 watts. I'd be transferring 80 joules every single second. Now, let's imagine if I increased my current and kept everything else the same. So if I increase my current, that just means that I'm uh, the same amount of energy is being transferred by this component, but it's going to be transferring at a much faster rate because my current has gone up. So let's say I've now got 100 amps instead. That's going to result in my power going up because now I've got 100 times 8. So my power would now be 800 watts. Similarly, 
If I increase my potential difference, so let's say now I've got 10 volts instead, because more energy is being transferred across this component, I'm also going to have a bigger um, power. So this time for this example here, I'd have 10 times 100, which equals 1000 watts. So by either increasing my current or increasing my potential difference, I'm also increasing the power. Now the final equation we need to know is P equals I squared times R, which simply means power equals your current squared times your resistance. So in order to do this, all you need to do is find the current in your circuit, figure out the resistance. So for example, if there's a resistor in there that is 10 ohms, then all you need to do is do your current squared multiplied by your resistance. Thank you. So just to summarise, power is the energy transferred per second by a component. Thank you.